Who and what is the Committee of 300? Well, I've dealt with that. I've told you this is a supranational body that knows no boundaries, respects the laws of no countries. The first time that they were publicly announced was by a German socialist by the name of Walter Rathenau. Now, I'll give you some background of Walter Rathenau. He was the financial advisor to the Kaiser of Germany, and he was also the financial advisor to the Rothschilds, the French family Rothschilds. So he must have known what he's talking about. He made an astonishing statement in 1934. He said, there is a committee of 300 men that rule the world. They're known only to each other, and nothing happens without their consent. The goals then, very simply stated, are to make the world over into a one world, new world order, dictatorship, controlled utterly and completely by this committee of 300. They do it by dint and by virtue of their fantastic wealth and the fact that they control thousands of the top banking institutions, the political organizations, insurance companies, but their strongest arm is called the Club of Rome. Now, when I first heard of the Club of Rome in 1969, I immediately began my investigation. And as Ken told you, all of my investigations have been done on location, every one of them. The Club of Rome is one of the most insidious, baneful organizations in existence today, which has done intolerable immeasurable harm to the United States of America. This committee of 300 told a man called Aurelio Pecchi to form this Club of Rome with the main object of bringing down the industries and the agricultural development of the United States. He immediately wrote a paper in which he said there are too many people on the earth and that the United States with its industrial development, its agricultural re development is responsible for this curse of overpopulation. And he picked up the documentation for his work from Lord Bertrand Russell, a senior statesman of the Committee of 300. And Lord Bertrand Russell had written a work called The Impact of Science on Society. And if you can ever secure a copy of that book, which I doubt you'll be able to get, you will see in there that he said, the world is grossly overpopulated and we have to get rid of at least half of the world's population. And it doesn't matter how we do it. So the Club of Rome was instituted and organized to start an attack on the world's population using the United States as the whipping boy. And they came up with a paper called the zero growth post-industrial plan for industry and agriculture for the United States of America. Three days after that plan was accepted as official United States policy by James Earl Carter, I was able to, through my intelligence people, get a copy of this insidious document. Basically what it said was that the middle class in the United States of America had to be destroyed because in the coming push to a world order, the middle class would be the stumbling block because history had shown that the peasant class in ancient days when they had revolted were just easily crushed. crushed. There was no resistance, but now had grown a new super class of people in the United States called the middle class who had long-term employment, who had job security, who were well paid, who could afford to buy the products that were made by the United States and didn't need to buy products from China or anywhere else. And the Club of Rome post-industrial zero growth paper said this has got to stop. We have to bring down the middle class of the United States. And the way that we will do this, the way that we will accomplish this task is by crushing their industries. The point I'm trying to make, ladies and gentlemen, is that the federal government 
the secret upper level parallel government that runs the United States does not want you to know that you have an upper level parallel government that calls the shots, that dictates what is going to happen to your life and mine.